This video is going to be over functions. Um, we're going to be asking ourselves, is y a function of x? So on this little tab, it tells you the things we're going to look at. For functions, we're going to look at it in three different ways. We're going to check out a map, a table, and a graph. Another way that this is written, so if you're in my class, I would like for you guys to add this to your first page. A phrase we're going to use is, is y a function of x? Is y a function of x? This first tab is looking at a map. The fill in the blank, it says for each input, there is blank output. This needs to be the word one. For each input, there is one output. Another thing to think about on this page, um, inputs are like X values. So you could substitute that out. For each X, there is only one Y. And that'll come up also in the table in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and label these. The part of the map that's on the left is called the input. And I'm going to go ahead and label this next one the same. The ones on the left are called the input, and the ones on the right are called outputs. In elementary school, I know people did input-output tables, so this is very similar. As you go down your input, you're going to be checking these numbers. And instead of listing them a bunch of times, what happens is... This line is drawn out from it. If it has two lines coming out from it, that means it's getting repeated. So this table or this, I'm sorry, this map would automatically be not a function because when I look right here, this number three, it has two outputs. Three has two outputs. Therefore, this one would be not a function. And I'm going to draw a squiggly line down the middle to separate that. Okay, again, our main focus is each input only has one output. When I come over to um, the, the right side of your paper, I'm just going to look in the input section only. I'm looking to see if there was a repeat. This 3 value only has one output. The 4 only has one output. Negative 2 only has one output. 0 only has one output. Now some people get confused right here, the 3 and the 4. It's okay if the 3 goes to the 2 and the 4 goes to the 2. Because the thing we're checking is, does 3 only have one answer it matches with? 3 only matches with 2. Does 4 only have one number it matches with? 4 is only connected to 2, so that's okay. This one then is a function. Because all the input values are only listed once. Okay, next tab says from a table. In this one, it's almost the same. The setup is very similar to when there was just a circle drawn around this and called a map. Instead of input values, it's already labeled as X. Instead of output values, it's labeled as Y. So when I fill out these lines at the bottom, this is going to say the X value cannot repeat. The X value cannot repeat. Simple as that. All I need to do is I need to take my X column. I'm going to look at it. If any of those numbers repeat, then it's not a function. So when I go down the list, I have negative 1, 3, 5, negative 1. Okay, that already made me stop. I don't need to look at anything else. This one would be not a function because the x value of negative 1 repeated. 
negative 1 had a repeat. So that means not a function. Looking over at the right side, I'm going to again only look at the x values. I go down this list. Don't even worry about the other side. I have 9, 3, 6, 0, and 8. All of those are different values. So then I'm going to say this one is a function. The last tab on the foldable wants to look at a graph. This one has two blanks. The sentence at the bottom says use the blank blank test, VL test. What you want to put here is vertical line. We are going to do a vertical line test. If I draw a line anywhere up and down on the graph and it touches more than one time, it's not a function. So vertical line means you need to uh, draw a line up and down. Draw a line up and down. And if it touches twice, it's not a function. So it can only touch once. I'm going to put that up here. Vertical line can only touch once. Vertical line can only touch once. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in on this first graph. If I, um, I have a little laser tool, so let's say I pick this. If I put my laser right here, I am touching the graph two times with this one vertical um, laser I have on my paper or on my screen right now. So if I were to draw a line, let's say that's my vertical line, I can identify that it touches here and it touches here. So that means this one is not a function because it touches twice. Not a function. Okay, second one. Also, if I pick anywhere on the graph, I draw a vertical line straight up and down. Now I'm going to go back and see where did this touch. It touched twice, which is no, not good. This one also is not a function. Then the last graph. Pick somewhere, draw a line straight down. I'm going to pick um, right here. Draw a line straight down. Put a dot where it crosses your graph. If you only find one spot where it's touching, like if I have my laser and I'm moving across, only one time, one time, one time, then I would say this is a function. because it only touched once with the vertical line test.